Okay guys, we're back with uh, another video of Greed Knights, and uh, we're going to continue where we left off. We were at uh, level 6, so let's get started. Let's go back to the mission. I think we're going to have to, like I said, we're going to have to grind at the cave a little bit more before we head to Iceland, because those creatures were, like, taking us on. Giving us a run for our money, I guess. Okay, we're getting a little bit closer. If I could just get to level 7 and get a little bit more gold, I think I can upgrade my weapons and I might be able to take on Iceland, but we'll see. Still don't know what these creatures are supposed to be. I guess they're supposed to be like demons of some kind, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Okay. I think they're giving me like 4 gold pieces, 4 or 5 approximately. They're not really doing much damage to me anymore like they used to be. I really like these fire graphics, they look really cool. Okay, probably like one more kill and I should be at level 7. So we didn't have to grind for too long. Hopefully. Okay, we're at level 7. So let's go ahead and exit out. And uh, let's see if we can upgrade our stuff a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade. Oh wait, we don't have enough gold to get another sword. But we could upgrade our shield. Which I think I will do. I still got 30 gold pieces, but it's not enough to buy anything. So let's see how we handle Iceland. We may have to leave again, but let's see. I don't know. I guess these are supposed to be the abominable snowman or something. I don't know. I don't know what he's supposed to be. Uh, he didn't do nearly as much damage, but still might be hard to take on him. Let's see. Still got a little bit of HP. I have to keep my eye on it. Okay, down to three. Hopefully he doesn't attack me again because he might kill me. Okay, took him out. Is there another one? Or is that it? Okay, good. I think I might be able to take these guys on now. So let's see. Still have to keep an eye on my HP just in case. I think since my new shield and since I leveled up has helped a lot because they're not able to take me out as much, which is why I decided to go for the shield instead of getting the, the another ring because I thought the... Oh boy. Okay, yeah. I think I'm good. And I got some more gold now too, so I might be able to upgrade my sword here in a little bit. Let's do like maybe one or two more runs, uh, runs through and we'll see. They actually don't really give off all that much XP, really, as much as I thought they would, for especially for as much trouble as they're giving me. So, I will say this game is very addictive. It kind of just like strips all that extra fluff that you would normally get like in a modern day RPG, and just kind of just goes back to the basics of what an RPG really is, I guess you could say. And that's... Uh, I guess that's why I find it so addictive. A lot of things in old school RPGs were kind of automated anyway, because like you know, it's in the, like in a turn-based battle system, a lot of it's automated. So 
uh, you know, you're really just kind of like selecting which character you want to attack the enemy, you know, with and stuff like that. And then it just kind of does the animation for you. But this is like way beyond that. This is like literally all you got to do is just click the level and the level just fights itself. The only thing you got to do, be careful with though, is like I said, you got to keep an eye on your stats and make sure your HP is not going down and watch the enemy's HP and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah so that's I guess that's where the kind of and there's other RPGs that I've kind of played like that too where you don't really have to pay that much attention to the actual battle itself per se or the, what's going on with the animation and stuff you're really just kind of looking at all the behind the back uh, you know like I said your stats all the behind the scenes kind of thing and uh, so I forgot this game had a bank kind of interesting that you could actually store some of your gold in your bank if you want to. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go ahead and let myself level, uh, rejuvenate real quick and then I'm gonna leave. Yep. And let's see if, uh, if I can upgrade some stuff here. I really would like a new sword, but I'm also, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the sword, I think. And then I'm going to upgrade my ring. That should help me out a lot. But yeah, I forgot this uh, had a like a, a bank of some sort. Um, at least I thought it did. Where is it at? That's the gym. Oh yeah, I forgot you could... <laughs> Add some extra stuff. Yeah, like I said guys, I'm still kind of learning this game a little bit. I've only played, I only played it like once or twice before and I'm still kind of learning some things, but yeah, I forgot you could actually add, uh, train up your HP a little bit. That probably would have helped, <laughs> I guess. I probably wouldn't have had to grind so long in the cave, but that's alright. The cave was a cool place to be in, so I'm not complaining at all. Alright, let's ground a little bit more here and then we'll see if we can take on the next place. Especially now that I got a better sword, so I'm like pretty much taking out almost all their HP just with one slash. So. Yeah, HP seems, this is one of those RPGs where it's just like the HP is like the biggest, really your biggest focus. Uh, it, you know, and it, the stats are pretty basic too, you know, you're really just attack and HP, there's really not too much beyond that. I mean, I know you got your uh, other stuff too, but, uh, which I kind of like, people complain about RPGs like that, but I actually kind of like basic RPGs too. Don't get me wrong, I like it when RPGs give you a lot more options and stuff as well, but, um, uh, I mean, you're talking about someone who grew up playing like the Legacy of Goku series. I mean, that's a that that series is a pretty basic RPG series. I mean, literally, it's just like three stats. It's just like you got power, attack, and uh, and uh, endurance, and that's pretty much it. I was trying to get to level eight before I left, but it's it's like taking forever. But um. But yeah, that's like I said, talking about someone who grew up on those kind of games and so I'm pretty used to standard RPGs. I actually used to not like RPGs when I was uh, younger. I um, preferred more action-based games, which I did like some action RPGs, but it, it was very selective with what action RPGs I liked. Some of them I liked, and some of them I didn't. And I did not like turn-based RPGs at all. And uh, but now I love RPGs is actually probably my favorite genre of video game now. I love turn. I like. I'm one of those people. I like RPGs of all different kinds. I like JRPGs, Western RPGs, turn-based RPGs, and um, you know, uh, I like more basic RPGs. You know, like some that are considered a lot easier, kind of like this one, or even some that are 
or like the Legacy of Goku series, like I said, or Final Fantasy IV is also a pretty basic RPG, at least the American version. I think the Japanese version was a little bit harder, but the American version is uh, quite a bit easier, but I still find it a lot of fun. I like the story, and I think the gameplay's fun. I don't really base uh, how much I like a game based upon how oh, how much the difficulty is. I, uh, you know, I base it on how much fun I had with it, and I have a lot of fun with Final Fantasy IV. I've gone back and played it a few times and um through it's probably my favorite final fantasy game out of all the older final fantasy games like when i say older i mean like everything before final fantasy 6 so it's probably my favorite uh, final fantasy game then i will say that after when 6 came out there was a big jump in in quality and uh and then with, uh, of course, with Final Fantasy VII, which I know there's the big debate between six VI and seven, which one's better, and some people say six, some people say seven, of course, and there's also a bunch of people that jump on Final Fantasy IX as well. I've never played nine, so I don't have an opinion on that one. But uh, in my opinion, Final Fantasy VII is better than Final Fantasy VI. I love six, VI, but seven is better in my opinion. All right, let's see. We're very close. I think this enemy should get us to level eight, so then we can head on to the next place. And ta-da! Okay, let's go ahead and up my HP real quick, and then I will leave. And then let's see how much gold we got here. We got 90 gold. We could probably upgrade my. Uh, my shield and let's see we got one stat point we can let's put that to attack because I think we got enough uh, HP right now and then let's see how we <laughs> right, so let's see how we uh, handle the, uh, the desert like I said we okay oh well we're in a cutscene uh, Hello, brother. I work for Mephos now. I have no idea how to pronounce that name. I allowed him to clone myself and make even more, make me even more powerful. Brother, why? I always wanted to be. Stronger, a hey, be the stronger brother. Why is there a way to? Okay, I knew you could skip the whole thing, but I was trying to read it without. Okay, uh, so this is a boss battle, so I may get my butt kicked. Let's see. Oh no, I, I got him. So, but yeah, he's cloned himself, so there's multiple versions of him. Let's see how if I can take on two of them. I don't know. I'm assuming there's going to be two per level, like before. Okay. I may have to leave. Oh, okay. Is there more than two? Okay, good. Alright, so they gave me some pretty good HP, especially considering I'm going to have to have 640 till the next one. So I'll keep an eye on my HP just to make sure I'm still going to be alright. But I think I'll be alright. Because these battles seem to be a little bit trickier. With, uh, what's his name? Neff? Okay, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. So I still just want to keep an eye on things. But yeah, so we made it to the desert in this one, so... I kind of wish each level would have a different uh, song, but this song is really catchy, I will admit. I kind of wish, though, that each level would have a different song and not just the same song over and over again. So, I will admit, for this basic pixel art, the characters actually look pretty good, and I like the way the swords and stuff look. And, like some of the background scenes, like with the cactuses and stuff, it actually looks pretty good for, like I said, such a basic... Uh, the good thing about this game is it doesn't take up much room on your PC, so you could have even an extremely basic, underpowered PC and you could play this game no problem because 
that, like I said, there's not too much graphics to it, there's only one song that's looping, so there's not, like, this game could probably fit on a extremely, you know, old school, this game seemed like it was designed to fit, like, on, on an old school cartridge, like, you could probably still play this on the original NES, no problem, and it would fit on a cartridge, I have no idea how all that stuff works, but I'm assuming it would be fine. Okay, I think I might see if I can upgrade some of my weapons and maybe blow through these enemies a little bit faster. After I get a little bit more gold, because I almost got a hundred gold. Because I'm like, not even at the halfway point of getting to the next level yet, and I've been on this level for like, how long now? Like, um, two minutes? So, Okay, let's upgrade my ring, and then, let's see, what were my stats again? Okay, that's still at zero, because I haven't up leveled. And, uh, let's see, yeah. So, let's, yeah. But yeah, so, in the next episode, we'll try to see if we can, I'm going to end things off here. But I think in the next episode, I'm going to see if I can uh, finish up the desert here, and then maybe make it to Evil Gates, and then the Evil uh, evil Throne. So, anyway, I'll see. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next episode.